So what do you guys got up first here? Well, digging in the bag here, it looks like we have an actual letter. I mean, look at this. Ooh, yeah. Look at those yeah. stamps, too. Beautiful. Uh, this is from John Riley. From John Riley. And John Riley just writes, you guys often talk about surprising teams. I'm wondering what you guys think about some of the surprising players from the first quarter of the NHL season. Thank you so mm, much. Surprising for that. players. Um, oh, I, I, we have to talk about Alexander Ovechkin, ooh, guys. Yeah, he yeah. has had a really rough first quarter. Yeah, he's 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 only got I think five goals so far, which puts him on pace for something like nineteen on the season. Um, and two of those have been empty, empty net. netters. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. So I mean, he's really scored three goals or so this season. Um, that is pretty rough. This is a guy who's chasing Gretzky's record, and I think some people are starting to wonder if he can actually pull this off. Yeah, I haven't watched a lot of Capitals hockey this year, but when I have, I've noticed that he looks even slower than normal. He's really laboring out there. I remember watching an overtime game and he was on for like 30 seconds. He was just gassed and he just had to like barely get to the bench to make the line change. So I don't know. I mean, he wants to break the record, but it doesn't look like it's a guarantee anymore. I would agree with that. Not a guarantee. I think he can still do it, but let's remember, I mean, he could get hurt or he could just completely fall off a cliff and be become kind of an irrelevant player. That happens when players approach their 40s. He could also still pick it up. I wouldn't count him out just yet. Oh, no. Don't count out the grade eight. I just think that it's been a little bit surprising for him to have such a steep fall from one season to the next. How about on the the plus side? Who's been good out there? Well, I think we have to talk about Sam Reinhart for the Florida good Panthers. Call. I mean, he has been scoring goals at an outrageous pace, um, challenging for the for the league lead. He's been excellent so far. That's a big surprise. Yeah, I've always liked him, but I never saw him as being like a top line player, but I mean, he's one of the best players in the league right now, statistically speaking, anyway. I'm not sure he'll be able to keep it up, but great surprise for the Florida Panthers. And how about leading the league, Nikita Kucherov? Wow, has this guy been on fire to start the year? Hard to say it's surprising. We've seen him play so much great hockey over the years, but yeah, I, I, I wasn't pegging him to win another Art Ross trophy. He's got a long way to go. Connor McDavid is waking up and will be nipping at his heels soon enough. But still, he looks like the Nikita Kucherov of old, the Stanley Cup champion. Yeah, I mean, he is such an exciting player to watch. And I mean, maybe not a surprise, but certainly I think he doesn't get the appreciation he deserves. I mean, I think he's one of the top five players in the world. And what about Jonathan Huberdeau? I kept thinking this guy might be poised to have a big bounce back season. We still haven't seen it yet. No. Yeah, we were all blaming some and it was all the coach's fault and a new coach was going to be a new day for Jonathan Huberdeau but he still hasn't really figured it out he's been benched for stretches um, when he is on the ice he's, he's not driving the play I don't know Maybe he just isn't a good fit in Calgary. Yeah, I mean, the something's got to give for this guy to get back on pace for what he should be on pace for. And what about Johnny Goudreau? Same deal. I mean, this guy had a really disappointing year last year, even worse so far this year. Patrick Laine, could he turn it around? Well, I want to touch upon Goudreau just if I can for a second. And I've never really believed in this guy. I, I just, his talent is all world, but the compete level's never really been there consistently. And he's got this big contract, and I think he's just kind of coasting right now. He's on a pretty bad hockey team, and he's just not making the effort necessary to score goals in a very, very difficult league. And John, Patrick Laine? Oh, I don't know about Patrick Laine. I thought it was very questionable for them to put him at center. I think you mentioned that playing center is very hard. And uh, I don't know if Patrick Laine is the guy who really likes hard assignments. And uh, yeah, another guy... Uh, you know, you really got to compete. You really got to give your soul to this game. And he seems to be a guy who thinks he can coast on talent, and you can't do that in this league. Yeah, he's a great hockey player. I don't know if he loves the game like some of these guys, though. You just you don't see that fire in him all the time. Maybe it's just a personality thing, but I don't know. Sidney Crosby, he's shown he's still got it. For sure. I mean, this is a guy who stays in excellent shape, plays a lot in the offseason. He's a total rink rat. And uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if he can maintain this level of play late in his career. Well, that's the thing, right? The perfect contrast to guys like Goudreau and Lyon. Here's a man who loves hockey, who gives everything he has to the game. And you combine that with all world talent. And hey, he's still one of the best. Yeah, I mean, Jeff, anybody you want to talk about? Well, I got to give a quick little shout out to my boy, William Nylander, Toronto oh. Maple Leafs, man. He set a new Leaf record for most points to begin the season. He's been awesome. How much longer will it be a Leaf, though? Has he priced himself out of town with this career year? Oh, I don't even want to think about that yet. Yeah, I just do. enjoy it while it's here. He'd look good in a Hab sweater. Mm -hmm. <laughs>